Hello again and welcome back to the T-Tech Teacher YouTube channel. Today we have another cheap computer that's going to push our budget up slightly, but we want to get a computer that will play Baldur's Gate 3. If you take a look at the recommended requirements, you can see this one has a much higher demand than the other games we have looked at heretofore. And this gets a little more challenging to get a budget computer that will play something with anywhere near close to these specs. As the specs get higher, the harder it is to get a budget computer. If you were going to build a custom computer, this would be the cheapest. This one doesn't include a case, power supply, nothing. This is just the standard core components, not anything high end either. And just scrolling down, you can see that our total is 47807. Would you believe that I can get you a computer that is very close to this, about 15% less power, but we can do it for $150. We're going to start with a decent computer with a large power supply and one that has the ability to get up to about 400 watts. This one I think has 360, which is good enough. This one also has a hard drive, Windows 11 installed, and you want to have one specifically that's an i7-6700K. This kicks us into DDR4 memory. And if we look at the price, it is about $110. Now this we have to pair with a very good GPU, and that GPU in particular is a GTX 1070. You need an MSI Aero and you can see how this one is approximately $85. But if we pair this GPU with this tower, you'll have something that's pretty impressive. You may be looking saying 90, 110, that's 85. So we're pushing about 190 there. How do we get it for 150? Well, this has a hidden secret. This has an Quadro M2000 graphics card already installed and this is by itself worth about 35 to 40 dollars they go for about 40 to 50 on ebay and in your local area if you were to put this up on facebook marketplace you'd probably get about 35 so if we do the math on it our tower if you offered them about 85 for that you'd probably get it your gtx 1070 is 85 minus 35 for the onboard we get 155. Don't forget you also need a SATA to 8 pin power adapter. So that's about three or four dollars from Amazon. So that's how we get it down to about 150. So now that we've looked at the cost, let's compare this to other recommended spec computers and see how this setup would compare. If we compare the RTX 2060 to a 1070, you see you lose about 10 to 15 percent in FPS. If we compare the processors, the i7-6700K is about 10% less or so than a Ryzen 5 3600. The i7-8700K is 10% or so better than the i7-6700K for the $150 purchase. If we compare just some general games here, GTA 5, you can get 80 0.7 on Ultra. Elden Ring will cause this computer to struggle slightly, but if you don't mind playing medium, then you can still do about 60 FPS. Red Dead, again, if you do medium, you can still get a very good FPS out of it. Valorant, you can get very high FPS. And even Cyberpunk on medium, you can still get 80 to 100 FPS. My point for doing these videos is never to dissuade anybody from doing a custom build or attempting to build a more expensive computer, but to highlight that to those of us who are budget conscious or don't have a lot of money, there are still options out there. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you've watched this far, please leave me a comment. What games would you like to see a budget computer build for? And again, thank you for watching.